aren't you glad we live in such a modern world? I mean, sometimes I wonder what it was like for our ancestors to get through life. I can't imagine myself in a world without the internet, telephones, AC, nice water, etc, etc. Granted, paying five cents for a soda sounds pretty nice. All of these improvements have been possible thanks to visionary people like the engineers. Without them, we'd still be living in the Stone Age. But unfortunately, some things haven't gone as planned, and there have been many incidents that led to terrible losses of money and people's lives. Today, we're going to be looking at 10 worst engineering mistakes. We'll be looking at some ideas that meant well, but ended up harming others pretty badly. The one at the top of the list cost billions of dollars to be made. But unfortunately, it was a terrible disaster, much like everything else I'm about to show you. Tell me, are you ready for it? Nah, who am I kidding? I can't hear you. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Walkway in the Hyatt Regency Hotel. When you go to a hotel, you're supposed to feel relaxed and calm, confident that you're in a safe space where you're well taken care of with room service. Unfortunately, that was not the case for the people at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City. On July 17th of 1981, two walkways collapsed. Well, more specifically, one walkway collapsed on top of another walkway, which caused the two walkways to fall right on top of a tea dance that was being held in the hotel's lobby. 114 people lost their lives and more than 200 got injured. It took 14 hours for the rescue team to complete their job. The incident did reveal that there had been some engineering flaws from the moment these walkways were designed. In fact, the engineers who worked on the designs were convicted of misconduct and negligence. They even lost their engineering licenses. It's just sad, though, that it took an incident for them to see what they did wrong, and the loss of so many lives. Number 9. Vassa. The sinking of the Titanic was one of the most memorable accidents of the early 20th century. But 300 years before that, Vassa was the largest sailing ship in the world. And it also sank, mainly due to engineering mistakes. The sinking was due to the fact that Vassa's gun ports were way too low, and the mass of the objects were not properly distributed. These factors made the ship capsize and sink. What's impressive about this ship is that more than 300 years have passed since the incident and Vassa is still in pretty decent condition. Apparently, the water was so polluted at the time that the microorganisms that usually devour wood were not present in the area. This allowed the ship to stay in good conditions and today you can actually find it in a museum in Stockholm. It's a pity that the ship sank, but I'm glad they were able to preserve it at least. Number 8. The Gretna Rail Disaster I guess we don't use trains as much as people did in the past, looking more like a luxury time rather than a form of transport, but back then they were very popular. So popular that in 1915, five trains got involved in what was considered to be the most chaotic railway accident since the communication by rail was invented. It all happened in Gretna, Scotland, and the incident took the lives of more than 200 people, including railway staff and soldiers. When authorities began to investigate, they realized that the accident could have been avoided if the people working at the railway had been a bit more responsible. The job wasn't necessarily a complex engineering task, but it required people to be alert at all times, making sure that all signals and communication systems were in order. Number 7. The Bhopal Disaster Engineers are not only in charge of designing cool stuff. A lot of their projects also require maintenance, and failing to do so can have terrible consequences. Kind of like what happened in Bhopal, India in 1984. In case you don't know, this part of India got a ton of attention back in the mid-80s after a pesticide plant released a ton of toxic gas. This immediately ended the lives of 2,259 people, and then there were also about 11,000 more deaths after the incident. But what exactly went wrong? Well, their materials got contaminated with water, and this caused a reaction that turned into a deadly tragedy. According to some people, this problem could have been avoided if proper maintenance had been done in time. It's the little details that can make a big difference in moments like this. In 2006, it was revealed that more than half a million people had been injured due to this incident, and thousands of them had to live with permanent damage. As of today, the region is still toxic, all because someone didn't do proper maintenance. Pretty sad. Number 6. The Charles de Gaulle Airport 
France's major airport inaugurated a new section in 2004, which you could say is pretty recent compared to other parts of the airport that have been operating since the 70s. You'd think that by this time, engineers would be experts at their job, but unfortunately, there's always the possibility that something might go wrong, and this was not the exception. Soon after it opened, a section of this brand new area collapsed, which took the lives of four people and left three with terrible injuries. When an inquiry team went to check, they realized that the roof was not strong enough to hold the heavy pillars of this section of the airport. This ended up in them closing the airport for a while and renovating the whole terminal for the modest price of $120 million. The terminal reopened four years later and nothing major has happened since then. Today, they are planning to add more terminals to this busy airport. I just hope that they learn from their mistakes so nothing like this ever happens again. Number 5. Apollo 13. You might have actually heard about this one as there are two major films about the event. Apollo 13 took off to the moon on the 11th of April 1970, but unfortunately the astronauts inside the ship never accomplished their goal. Two days after their launch, an oxygen tank exploded, which jeopardized the lives of the three passengers on board. They lost power, water, and cabin heat, which were essential for their survival. For that reason, they could never land at their destination, and instead they just looped around the moon before coming back to Earth. Fortunately, the astronauts did survive and were able to land safely while splashing in the Pacific Ocean. At the time of the incident, no one at NASA really wanted to know what went wrong. They just wanted to find a way to bring the crew back alive. However, once the astronauts were back, the engineers behind the project got together to figure out what went wrong in order to avoid problems in future missions. They realized that there was a problem in the way a thermostat was designed, and also they learned that one of the oxygen tanks had been dropped prior to its use during the mission. The combination of these two is what led to a scary mission to space, but fortunately, everyone did get out alive, even though the incident kept them from landing on the moon. Number 4. New Orleans Levees If you've been to, or at least heard about, New Orleans, then you know about Hurricane Katrina. It was one of the most intense events around in the early 2000s. And while hurricanes can't be stopped, there are certain things that people and their authorities can do to prevent some damage. In the case of New Orleans, things got really bad because the levees of the city were disjointed. The materials, the designs, and the quality were not consistent. So the whole thing was pretty much set up for failure. When the storm finally hit, the levees couldn't stop the water, and the whole city got flooded. It cost $15 billion for the U.S. to fix this place, and today New Orleans is up and thriving, and their levee system is supposed to be up to standard in the coming years. And I guess we'll just see the next time a hurricane hits. Number 3. R101 Airship Have you ever seen an airship? Can you believe people used to think that we would use these things to go around places in the future? But that dream died after the Hindenburg Airship caught on fire in 1937. However, seven years before that, there was another famous airship that somehow implied that flying inside these things wasn't as promising as people thought. The R101 was a British airship that crashed on a hill in France, which resulted in a terrible fire. The problem with the R101 was that it was only supposed to be used as an experiment. But some people got really ambitious and decided to see if they could fly it all the way to India. Sadly, the airship was not ready to endure adverse weather conditions. Also, they filled it with a crazy load of fuel and cargo that were beyond its capacity. I guess this is not just an engineer's mistake, but we can also heap some blame on the people who forced him to fly it. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I chose for today shows an engineer's worst nightmare. It is a misaligned bridge halfway through its construction. Can you imagine how the engineer behind the project feels about it? Luckily, this picture is not from a real-life event. It was digitally made to show what it's like to make mistakes in the engineering world. Sadly, there have been times in which engineers failed pretty badly while building bridges. And I'm about to share one of those stories with you with number two. The Tacoma Bridge. Bridges are meant to connect communities divided by gaps. For that reason, they need to be strong enough to put up with the weight of all the people and vehicles passing on them. That's what the first Tacoma Bridge in Washington was supposed to be, but sadly, the bridge collapsed about four months after it opened to traffic. Even though its towers were made of strong materials, they couldn't protect the bridge from heavy winds that hit the area in November of 1940. The good thing is that there were no people on the bridge when it happened. But sadly, there was a dog who lost its life during the incident. To be fair, I'm actually far more concerned about the dog than any of the people on this list. 
This incident cost $6.4 million of the state of Washington, which I'm sure taught them to be more careful in the design of future bridges. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Billion Dollar Skylab Mistake A lot of the mistakes mentioned so far have cost a ton of money to the people behind them, but I doubt anything can be worse than what I'm about to show you. The Skylab was launched on May 14, 1973, and it weighed 75 metric tons. The Skylab was the next step for NASA in terms of space exploration. But sadly, they really didn't have a plan when it came to bringing the Skylab back to Earth, and that became a problem when the station's orbit was decaying. In other words, the Skylab became a 75-ton chunk of trash floating freely in outer space. At the end of the 70s, the engineers behind it finally fired the station's rockets, hoping that doing so would bring the station down to a proper splash in the Indian Ocean. However, that's not exactly what happened. As the station crashed against the atmosphere, parts of it were scattered all over the Indian Ocean and parts of Australia. It was so bad that NASA never got to recover all of the parts. Some of them are in the bottom of the ocean, and some others are in the hands of some lucky Australians. Thankfully, nobody got hit by space debris or anything like that, but the whole thing was a 3.6 billion loss for the people behind the project. Do we have any engineers in the audience? Or perhaps any of you plan to become one in the future? What are your thoughts on these mistakes? Let us know in the comments section down below, and please share any crazy mistakes that we didn't get to cover today. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.